Now, every year, the design in Daba sets out to find the most beautiful object in South Africa. The nominations for this year's competition have already been released. And now it's up to you, the public who need to vote and decide on what will be named as the most beautiful object of 2017. And in studio, we're joined by a celebrity chef, uh, one of my favorite people. I'm still trying to get an invite to her table. Uh, <laughs> Steve Mdongan, as well as Beale Billingham, uh, our own uh, creative director, who was also part of the nomination panel this year to find out more about the competition, which is always exciting because I think the very first question that people ask is, what exactly is the most beautiful object of the year? How do you define the most beautiful object of the year, Bill? Well, the competition, it's, it's literally this big search. Yeah. Um, it's, we wanted to find out, well not we, the design and job have set out to find out from the public what they, what they understand as beautiful this year. Mm -hmm. um, so, uh, gosh, it's a really tricky thing. Obviously, this, and this idea of beauty, I mean, beauty is, very, is in the eye of the beholder, yeah, right? Yeah, it's very yes. complex. So let's quickly take a look at some of the nominations. We'll have a, a, a rollout of them on the screen, and maybe you can tell us about these nominations as they come up. Look at that. So uh, ergonomic design, if you will, in terms of... Just tell us more about these, these nominations. Well, this is your nomination. So this is my nomination. This is your nomination, yes. Um, done by a talented young man mm. from our soil, which is just absolutely amazing. Um, it's a backpack which is highly fashionable nowadays, and it's a wooden backpack, which is something that you would not find on a daily basis. And mm. in fact, when I saw it, I just was crazy and, uh, and I wanted it. Um, it kind of reminds me of a, a, a fashionable modern day library, oh. because it's a wood with leather. Yes. Uh, so whether you shelve books in it, or whether you shelve um, your, your, your clothes, or whatever it is that you may be carrying food, maybe in my case. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> like a basket. Um, it's really, it's absolutely beautiful. I absolutely wow. adore it. And it's got that almost like contemporary African feel about yes. it. It's, it's really beautiful. And local is lekker. And I'm loving the, the <laughs> yeah, the, the different variations. Look at that. So not even just the, the backpack itself, it can be transformed into some kind of, I guess, uh, handheld bag, yes, handheld. even clutch purses for the ladies out there. This is truly wonderful things. And so for you, Siba, what, how do you define the concept of beauty for you, especially in the context of this competition? For the context of this competition, I think beauty is it's much more deeper than the aesthetic. It must add some form of functionality. Um, for many other things, perhaps, it must it must just grab you. Yes. Like that grabbed me, that mm -hmm. grabbed me. So the aesthetic feel of it is important because people are attracted by what they see, mm -hmm. but it must just go beyond that and be much more prettier or much more substantial uh, than that. And I mean, if you look at that, that's not something you will see on your, on your, on like on every day. Absolutely. You know, so. It, it definitely stands out when, when you have, look at that. So <laughs> slick, that is beautiful. <laughs> All right, Bill, so that's, that's tough competition to go up against. What was your nomination? <laughs> My nomination, I think, is going to kick that out of the park. <laughs> um, the Sankara rug. Oh. I'm by, yeah, no, I'm, I'm all over this. For me, there are many reasons I nominated the rug. Um, I think, well, now we've moved away from it, but the rug designed by Nkuli, she's really done a lot of research into um, the designs that she chose. She collected stories from around the country. I think a lot of these designs have that as a, as a key thread that goes through them, this idea of storytelling. Um, there they're it very is. South Africa. Yeah, there we go. So it's, it feels very South African. I think the exciting thing for me is that she's taking the art of weaving, which we're known for in South Africa, and she's injecting new life into it, which I think we have a responsibility as designers, as, um, as lovers of design, to kind of keep on putting more and more energy into the things that we do well and that, that we're known for. Mm -hmm. um, so one of some of the reasons. That really I beautiful stuff, it. yeah. Kind of reminiscent for me f uh, of the winner of last year, Ladu Mangokol, yeah. who won with his yes. beautiful yes. throw that I think yes. is, is still right I have now. I throw. You do? I do. Uh, and I wore wow. it in New York. Oh my word, you're so lucky. <laughs> You've got all the good friends. I need, to, I need to get on that level right there. But ladies, thank you so, so much for joining us and telling us all these wonderful stories about South African beauty, design, and things that we can, of course, celebrate as proud South Africans. And of course, you can now have the opportunity of going online to cast your vote through the Design in Daba website. And of course, join the conversation online also using hashtag Tag M B O I S A twenty seventeen Mboisa yes Mboisa that's how you said hashtag Mboisa twenty seventeen and then later on in the show uh, nominated, nominated textile uh, designer Nkuli Mlangeni who will also be joining us to tell us a bit more about that Sankara rug and her design ethos so make sure that you do stay tuned for that but there's still more lots more coming up on your feel good breakfast show.